And smoke from the Superstition Fire can be seen in the East Valley and a fire that's now contained in the Scottsdale McDowell Sonoran Preserve also pumping quite a bit of smoke into the skies over the valley this morning and came with very little rain right now. This is not good for, for our air quality. Normally these rains kind of push everything to the ground and make things better, but not this time. Yeah, we're under a high pollution advisory through Wednesday for Maricopa County and our poor air quality can make it difficult to breathe for anyone spending any time outdoors. We're actually close to the McDowell fire burn scar. We can smell the smoke out here this morning. I want you to take a look at the satellite composite from yesterday evening. What we're seeing is smoke being pulled from wildfires in California and Colorado and rotating around a ridge of high pressure that's situated across the Four Corners region. That smoke is settling into places like Montana, Idaho, even the central part of the country, but it's also making its way into Arizona. Plus, we have localized wildfire smoke coming in from the gin and salt fires in our state. And all last week in our Arizona's Weather Authority Facebook group, we saw photos of sunrises and sunsets with a deep red hue. That's indicative of all the smoke that's present. Smoke particles are super tiny. Think 30 to 40 times smaller than human hair. And those particles can get very deep into your lungs. But another thing that smoke can do, it can actually increase ozone here in the valley as well. And we saw that last week. We actually saw unhealthy levels of ozone in the Phoenix Valley. And that's because the smoke actually interacts more and can create more ozone. So that's one of the reasons that we are seeing these high pollution advisories in the valley for the next several days, purely because we have the buildup here locally, but then we have the added wildfire smoke as well that just makes that problem even worse. Meteorologist Matt Pace from the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality says if you do smell that smoke, you're definitely breathing it in and we can feel the effects of this pollution. Anyone with respiratory issues like COPD and asthma or heart disease should definitely stay indoors as much as possible. So what about masks? Do they work? Well, experts say probably not unless you have an N95 mask. That's what this one is right here or an N100 mask. These cloth masks and these surgical masks aren't going to do the job. Live in Scottsdale, I'm meteorologist Kim Quintero for Arizona's Family.